How's it going guys? So today we're just going to quickly show you how to um, install TrueSpace add-on. Very easy to do. Let's go to File, uh, sorry, Edit, Preferences. And we'll open up our Preferences tab. Go to Add-ons, Install. And we're just going to go to the install location that we saved our downloads to. So obviously we don't want to unzip anything. We're going to click on the first one, which is the TrueSpace 2.0 zip, and install that add-on. And give it a moment, because it is about a gigabyte in size, so it's going to take a couple of seconds for that to install. Get that here, we're just going to enable it. Once it's enabled, we're going to install a update. And when we're installing the updates, doing the same thing we want to go here and we want to make sure that we install our large image pack first we we'll get a little notification down here telling us that it's been done I'm going to install another update we're going to install image pack one and again we'll get another notification down here once it's done just give it a moment to do its thing. Oh, one's added. Just going to install another update. And it's image pack 2. Install that. And the final notification will come down here. Say it's OK. So now we're just going to make sure that references are saved. And we are going to close Blender and reopen it. And once it's opened, you'll see on the end tool shelf on the right hand side of the viewport that we've now got True Space enabled. Once it is enabled, uh, all you need to do is click this button and you'll be able to use it. And you'll get a list of worlds that you can, you can import in. You can break them up into their separate categories. If you want. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just insert a cube. Let's delete that. Okay, so it's a world origin. Insert a cube. And insert plane. Scale that up. Grab that. on the surface for a second and uh, we're going to go I think let's start off with the, with the first one that we get you'll see we've not got much light coming off that so what we want to do is just increase either light strength of the exposure and we'll go for light strength on this one and you can see now that the cube is lighting up the more we increase the light strength, the more we begin to light our scene. Um, you can do things like mess around with the hue if you wish. Um, saturation again, you can mess around with, and the contrast. Um, so let's go and have a look at another one quickly before we call this a day. So this one's really bright. So what we're going to do is just drop the light strength down to 2. Now you can see. We've got a fully lit environment. You can increase the exposure to. And it will do what it's supposed to do. Increase the exposure. Um, my favourite one. Absolutely beautiful. And again, we can increase the light strength. Let's go to a 10. You'll see that it looks like there's two light sources, and that's because you're also getting the light reflecting off this here. Yeah, so we can take that down to 3. And then increase the exposure to 5. And what you'll also see with them being sort of HDRIs, um, when you increase the exposure, will actually increase the exposure 
correctly so you'll get to see what's going on in the background of things and you can also see what's going on here some nebula rock distance um, and for those purchased the pro version you will get uh, the ultra pack of HDRIs which go up to 18k uh, from the large size which is 12k um, so that's how to install that guys any questions just send me a message here or join the discord channel um, happy blending have fun